Hi you guys, I wanted to post a video on doing text outlines like we did in class. Um, and so we're in InDesign right now and I have a, just a regular, you know, uh, frame of text right here. Okay. And so I'm going to show you a couple things. So text outlines, first and foremost, if your printer or somebody says uh, you need to outline the text, you know, all you have to do is just select the frame and go to text, go to type, and go to create outlines. And now this is no longer um, editable text. It's an image. And because it's an image, you can go here to the direct selection tool and select any of these points. And you can actually uh, edit the text. You can... Um, make, you know, you could make an, another font out of it. You could bend it around. I mean, you can't edit it though. So, um, you know, it's an image. Now more than just an image, it's also uh, a frame. Would it smaller maybe? How about this? Okay. So it looks pixely. Let me right click, go to display performance and go to high quality display. And uh, there you go. And if I hit W, there's a preview. I can move the image around in back of here if I click down and hold down. And you can see there's the whole image there. I can move it. Um, and uh, that's that. Now, you can also use this uh, for some kind of like special effects. So I'm gonna hit W again, so get out of preview. Okay. And let's delete this guy, okay. This is a sort of a special effect um, with text outlines. Let's say that I have this pattern here. These are just some circles that I colored in uh, black. And so this is uh, like a little pattern that I'm gonna have. And I guess the idea here is that I want my text, um, I'm gonna copy this so that I have one here in case I need it. I'm going to option drag it. So I guess the idea, right, is that where this um, is over here, that it's going to be uh, white on top of here, right? So that would look like, you know, T here. That would look, oh, let me bring it to the front here, arrange, bring it to the front. So it would look like that. Okay, so basically um, I'm going to use this uh, kind of a special effect. It's much easier, I think, to probably do this in Photoshop and um, then it is in InDesign and then just, you know, um, but if you wanted to do it in InDesign, uh, this is how you could do it. So what I'm going to do is right now um, with this white over here, I'm going to take this, hit W, I'm going to export this as a as a full uh, graphic, right? So I'm going to go to File and I'm going to go to Export and I'm going to call it uh, Test okay, 2. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and make it into um, a, um, a PDF. And the reason I want to make it a PDF is because it's going to be better quality. Um, a JPEG has a lot of compression in it and I'm going to use a just a PDF is going to be better. So I'm going to do a PDF and uh, you would probably want this to be um, nice quality, right? So let me change that. And I want this to be the full page. Okay, that sounds good. Export it. And so now what I'm going to do is um, I am going to edit this uh, in Photoshop. So I'm going to minimize this guy. I'm going to go in to Photoshop and I'm going to open up the graphic, that PDF that I just made right here. I'm going to open it in Photoshop. And uh, what I want to do is I want to cut out um, this white part of it because um, I want the, the letter to be black here. Now you could do this in a lot of different ways. You could use um, you could use the pen tool and cut it here, 
you could also you know go in really close and erase it it's all about what you want to do so what I'm think I'm gonna do I'm gonna zoom in really close here because this is where everything's gonna sort of take place okay and in order to get this really clean cut the pen is the best option here so I grab the pen tool uh, I'm gonna start off with a dot here and then um, following the circle right maybe something like that something like that maybe it's nice and close right and then uh, over here I don't really need to be very you know careful I can just do something like that and in order to get a selection from the pen uh, I'm gonna go here to window make sure I can see my pads make a selection here um, and then I'm gonna go here to layers and I'm gonna add um, a layer mask and in it sort of made a layer mask in the wrong way I'm just gonna double click this and I'm gonna say invert it and okay okay and that's what I want okay so now I'm gonna save this as a Photoshop file file save as and test to Photoshop Photoshop okay looks good yep yep close that up okay let's open back uh, our InDesign here's my um, text I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna make it black oh, make just the text black <laughs> sorry and then I'm gonna go up here um, to type and uh, create outlines and then I'm going to do command D I'm gonna find the image that I made here click on open and it's gonna open the image behind here I'm gonna click down so that and hold so I can see the image and then I'm gonna line the image up um, on top of the you know background and uh, voila, it is done.